All right, so in today's video, we've got Alexandria fragrances going up against two fragrances from Louis Vuitton. Uh, so these two fragrances are gonna be Orchestra from Alexandria fragrances, and this is pretty much their take on Louis Vuitton Symphony. And I also have Le Meteor, which is obviously it's their take on uh, Meteor from Louis Vuitton or I don't know if it's pronounced Meteore, however you pronounce it, um, that is the clone for that one. So do have a sample here of Symphony as well as sam uh, actual sample of Meteor. So we're just gonna be comparing these two side by side. Um, now I have gotten wearings in on both of these fragrances to you know get an idea of how they perform um, and you know how they actually smell on skin or whatnot uh, So we're gonna be going over that as well, but just to kind of start it off here I'm gonna go ahead and actually spray these on skin so What we're gonna do first here is just kind of start with uh, symphony and orchestra so um, if you're not familiar with that fragrance it is one of the more sort of higher end, uh, you know, premium sort of fragrances within Louis Vuitton's fragrance line. Um, that fragrance, it is an extract de parfum, and it has notes of grapefruit, bergamot, and ginger, uh, according to Fragranica. Now, in terms of what I get from this fragrance when I, you know, spray it on, it does smell like it has definitely more notes than, you know, what Fragranica has listed. Uh, at least for me, I get like a sort of mandarin orange sort of note that comes from this fragrance. And I'm just going to spray these both on. So I have Symphony on the back of my hand here. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of spray Orchestra down here below my watch. All right. And then let's see how these two smell on skin side by side. So I just need to kind of let these settle for a second. Okay. So what I sort of get from these two fragrances are at least in the immediate opening, and this is what I noticed the other day when I kind of sprayed them on. Um, in like the immediate opening, and I would say this probably lasts for maybe about three to five minutes or so, the Louis Vuitton does smell like slightly better. I feel like the citruses, the way the citruses smell in the Louis Vuitton, they do smell a bit richer, a bit more sort of natural. And I would even say that the the citruses in the Louis Vuitton, they seem to be slightly sweeter as well um, than what the Alexandria Orchestra is. Now, obviously, after that, you know, sort of three to five minute mark, you know, passes, I would say that the two, they definitely they start to become a lot more closer to each other. But, you know, obviously I feel like when you're dealing with fragrances in this, you know, sort of price point, you know, really any price point I would say from like $200 and above, there normally is going to be like a slight sort of difference between the way that the fragrances sort of open up, you know, between the original fragrance and the, the clone. Um, I would say that the differences between these two is very much a minor difference. So I do feel like Alexandria did do a, a very good job at, you know, trying trying to recreate the fragrance, obviously with using, you know, lesser ingredients than what uh, Jacques Cavalier uses, you know, at Louis Vuitton. So, yeah, I mean, there there are very slight differences. I would say I'm getting more of a slight sort of tart grapefruit from the Alexandria fragrances. Some more of a slightly sort of tart grapefruit, 
a tart mandarin and a tart sort of bergamot from this one from the alexandria whereas i feel like the louis vuitton is slightly more well blended um where you really don't get you really can't pick out i would say like individual notes in the louis vuitton it's kind of like they're all blended together really nicely and you all kind of get them all at once um, when you go in to smell the, the Louis Vuitton. Whereas with the Alexandria, I feel like I can definitely kind of pick out individual notes. Like I said, the grapefruit, um, the, the bergamot, the mandarin orange. That's more so the kind of vibe that I'm getting, and they seem to be slightly more tart uh, in the orchestra. Now, after that sort of, you know, like three to five minute mark, I would say the the other differences that you get between the two fragrances are orchestra to me, it even though I would say it definitely it has more strength you know, in terms of projection than what the original Louis Vuitton does, at least on my skin anyway. Um, even though it has that, it comes across as being like more of sort of like a slightly synthetic, slightly more synthetic type of feel. It smells like it's stronger because it's using more of some sort of like aroma chemical, like ISO E Super or something like that. That's the, the vibe that I get from orchestra. Now, I mean, I would say, is this something that, you know, somebody would be able to tell, you know, just from smelling the, the fragrance in the air? I would say probably not. Um, this would be more so a difference where I think somebody would, you know, say, oh, like if they're familiar with wearing Louis Vuitton Symphony and then they smelled you wearing orchestra, I think the difference maybe that anybody would be able to tell maybe you know attribute it in their mind to like a body chemistry difference possibly um so i mean the alexandria version to me with that slightly more kind of like aroma chemical type of smell to it it kind of comes off as being slightly more i would say on like the muskier side but i mean again the differences are very slight so, I mean, I would say pretty much if I'm going to say that there's any sort of difference between these two, you know, in terms of, you know, the percentage, I would say the orchestra is at least about 90 percent uh, Louis Vuitton symphony. Now, that I would say that makes me want to purchase this over symphony just for the simple fact that. 100 ml bottle of this fragrance which this is a this is just a 30 ml bottle but if you were to get a 100 ml bottle of this it's going to run you you know with shipping and alexandria's 15 percent off discount code all together it's going to be like around a hundred dollars or so um you know out the door pretty much for you know 100 mls of orchestra whereas with 100 ml of louis vuitton you can only really get that fragrance from Louis Vuitton directly for the most part. And there is really no sort of discount on that fragrance. So the fragrance before tax is like 560, I believe. So with taxes, depending on where you live, you're probably going to be easily over, you know, $600, you know, with shipping and everything like that. So does symphony cost six times or does symphony smell six times better than orchestra? Absolutely not. You know, I would say at least for like the first few minutes, I would say symphony maybe smells about 5% better than what orchestra does. Uh, and then I would say in the dry down, it really doesn't necessarily smell better than what orchestra does it just smells slightly different. Like I said, this comes off as smelling a little bit higher on like aroma chemicals than what, you know, uh, the Louis Vuitton does. But again, that's to be expected with, you know, a clone company that's not using the same, you know, ingredients that Louis Vuitton is. So I would absolutely recommend buying this over the Louis Vuitton Symphony. Um, like I said, in terms of like the uh, projection, this actually this gives you a little bit better projection 
I would say, you know, especially in the dry down than what the uh, Louis Vuitton does. The Louis Vuitton, at least on me, sits a little bit closer to my skin than what Orchestra does. Now, this isn't, I would say the scent profile in general, it doesn't necessarily project as, you know, strongly as what I thought it would. Um, I have also smelled Stellar Times from Louis Vuitton. And that fragrance, that one actually, you know, it projected like a beast and it, it lasted a really long time. Like that fragrance, when you spray that on your skin, even if you wash that, you know, area where you sprayed it on, normally you kind of have to scrub that off, you know, a couple more times before it's completely off of your skin. Uh, for whatever reason, this fragrance, as well as, you know, just the original Louis Vuitton Symphony, doesn't necessarily act that way on my skin. I would say pretty much once I kind of wash the area on my skin one time that, you know, I've sprayed either of the two on, it's pretty much gone after that for the most part. Um, so I, I would say the projection on both is pretty moderate, but it is definitely stronger with orchestra. And then in terms of the longevity, the longevity is decent, I would say, but again, not as good as something like, you know, another one of their X-Straight fragrances, Stellar Time. So with the orchestra, I'm getting easily about, you know, eight to 10 hours or so. Um, and then with the Louis Vuitton, I'm getting, I would say at least about nine to 11 hours or so. So just slightly better with the Louis Vuitton, but at the same time, this fragrance hasn't necessarily, you know, I would say sat on my shelf that long and sort of maturated. So over time, this fragrance may actually get stronger in terms of the projection and the overall longevity, all right? So overall, man, if I'm going to rate this fragrance, this is a 9.5 out of 10 for me. Like I said, I would 1000% purchase this over the original Louis Vuitton fragrance. Um, just for the fact that it comes so close to the original, you know, Louis Vuitton, like I said, about 90% overall, and it costs six times less than what the Louis Vuitton does. All right. So again, this one is going to be Alexandria Fragrances Orchestra. All right. So the next one is going to be La Meteor from Alexandria, and we're going to be comparing that to Louis Vuitton's Meteor. So... I'm actually going to spray the Louis Vuitton on first. And I'm going to spray this on the back of my hand like I did the Symphony. And then spray the Meteor down here. All right, now the last time that I wore the Louis Vuitton and the Meteor, the, the main thing that I noticed were especially you know in the opening it seemed like yeah so like the alexandria version of this definitely comes off as being a lot more sort of screechier in my opinion and more so i would say kind of heavier on like that sort of soapier neroli you know sort of smell and so also, just to kind of go over the notes in uh, Louis Vuitton's Meteor, the notes for this fragrance are going to be in the top notes, you have Mandarin Orange, Sicilian Orange, and Calabrian Bergamot. In the mid, you have Pink Pepper, uh, uh, Black Pepper, to, uh, Tunisian Neroli, Indonesian Nutmeg, Guatemalan uh, Cardamom, and then in the base, you have Java Vetiver Oil. So the main things that I would say that I, you know, get in terms of differences between the Louis Vuitton and uh, the Alexandria version of Meteor is the Louis Vuitton version, you know, obviously it's the blend is a lot better, I would say. Um, I would say that I do actually prefer Meteor over La Meteor and it's because of that sort of blend quality. For me, Le Meteor comes off as being, I would say, a lot more Neroli heavy. Um, that's like, I would say, the main note that I sort of pick out from uh, Le Meteor. 
with Meteor, I feel like you can kind of smell the citruses a lot more in Meteor than what you can in La Meteor. And they do definitely, the fragrance kind of hangs on to those citruses a pretty long time as well. Um, whereas with the, the Alexandria, to me, it comes off as being a lot more heavier on that sort of, you know, pepper, I would say, as well as the Neroli. And it just comes off as being a little bit more, I would say, kind of on the screechier side. A little bit more tart as well. And just overall, I would say it's not as enjoyable as, you know, the, the Louis Vuitton is. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that the uh, Alexandria Le Meteor isn't that close to, you know, the, the Louis Vuitton because it is pretty close. I would say overall, this fragrance is going to be probably about, I would say 85% or so uh, close to the, the Louis Vuitton. So it is still a pretty close fragrance. It is, I would say, a pretty decent quality, you know, clone of the fragrance. Now also keep in mind as well, um, this is also a pretty brand new bottle as well. So over time, this fragrance may get better and, you know, as it maturates, I know that's definitely something that, you know, you kind of have to consider with Alexandria fragrances um, for sure is, you know, what they smell like when you first get them is not necessarily always going to be how they'll smell, you know, maybe three, four five months down the line or whatnot. So at least for right now, as it stands, I would say that the, the blend and the smell of the original Louis Vuitton Meteor is definitely better than uh, Le Meteor. But I mean, if you're just looking for just a really sort of mass appealing, uh, you know, sort of like really fresh, clean, sort of fresh out the shower type of scent, and you don't have the $320 plus to buy the original Louis Vuitton, I do think that this is a pretty decent um you know interpretation or clone of louis vuitton's meteor i don't really know of any other uh clone houses that have a interpretation of meteor i'm sure probably houses like dua may have that particular fragrance as well um not really f that familiar with that house to really know I know for sure I haven't really seen any sort of Middle Eastern brands uh, do, you know, Meteor from Louis Vuitton. So as far as what I know, like I said, Alexandria right now seems to be the only house that I know of that really has at least a good quality, you know, uh, clone of the fragrance. Um, in terms of like the performance, the performance on Meteor is definitely going to be a little bit better than, uh, you know, what I get from uh, the Meteor from Louis Vuitton. So the Alexandria version, at least on the projection side anyway, this definitely projects louder than what, uh, you know, Meteor does from Louis Vuitton. Meteor, for me, it definitely, it does give you pretty moderate projection, but it does sit a little bit closer to my skin and it is a little bit more tame than what Le Meteor is from Alexandria. This more so kind of screams off of my skin and like I said, this one definitely comes off as being a little bit more screechier uh, and soapier than what the Louis Vuitton does. So, I mean, I would say if, if that's something that you like from that particular scent profile, then maybe Le Meteor might actually be, you know, the better choice for you over the Louis Vuitton. But like I said, at least for my sort of taste, I don't necessarily, I'm not that big of a fan of like really sort of like soapy sort of fragrances, you know, like soapy fragrances or like those sort of dryer sheet sort of fragrances. Those aren't necessarily my favorite fragrances to wear. I'll wear them, but they're not necessarily something that I reach for all the time. When I want to wear like a fresh fragrance, I more so want to wear kind of like a fruitier sort of fragrance or like a more of sort of like an aquatic style fragrance. 
this is definitely, I would say, more on kind of like that sort of soapier, sort of fresh out the shower, clean sort of smell. Um, and I think that's why a lot of people consider this to be kind of like, you know, a really super high end sort of blue fragrance because you do sort of get that type of vibe from, you know, both fragrances, I would say, both Le Meteor and Meteor, but definitely more so with Le Meteor, all right? Um, now, in terms of the overall longevity, the longevity on this one was kind of weird. I got like around seven hours or so of total longevity out of this one, whereas with the Louis Vuitton, I got like around 10, you know, 10 hours of total longevity. Um, so that was a little bit weird. Like I said, this one definitely, it comes out the gate stronger and it, you know, sort of projects, uh, you know, louder, I would say, for a, a pretty long time. But pretty much after like that sort of six hour mark or so, that's when this one kind of drops off a lot for me and then kind of dies off after like that seven hour mark for the most part. So again, that could be, you know, just, you know, this fragrance may need to kind of maturate and sit for a little while, but at least so far, that's pretty much what I'm getting from this fragrance. So again overall i would say this one is going to be about 85 percent close to the original louis vuitton meteor and if i'm going to rate this fragrance on like a scale of one to ten i would say this fragrance is like a solid 7.5 out of 10 for me um you know it's not a fragrance that i hate um i wouldn't necessarily say that this is a fragrance that i necessarily love i do definitely prefer the original louis vuitton over this but it's definitely a fragrance that, you know, I plan to wear and pretty much, you know, finish this bottle. Um, will I purchase this after I finish the bottle? Probably not. Uh, you know, time will tell as this fragrance kind of gets worn more. Maybe I may sort of, you know, grow to like this one a little bit more. But I would say out of the two fragrances, I do enjoy uh, Orchestra, you know, for sure over La Meteor. All right. So... Let me know in the comments, man, have you all smelled uh, Alexandria's Orchestra and have you smelled Le Meteor? And if so, have you smelled the originals from Louis Vuitton? And how close do you think that these actually come to the originals from Louis Vuitton? All right. So let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're brand new to the channel, do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe. And also to anyone watching, leave a like and a comment on the video. And again, that's Jamar from Vegas Sense. I'll see y'all in the next video.